Okay, so we are going to start using our three different areas here, and we're going to start merging and moving our Terraform configurations to work in this different style. Now, the first thing I want to do is to set up the network one. And in our case, the network one is basically just going to be setting up our VPC and security groups and all that good stuff that relates specifically to the VPC module that we were using before. So in my case, the network here, this networking state area is basically just going to be the VPC module moved into there. Now, the benefits of that aren't going to be visible in this course necessarily, but it might be beneficial for you to have a networking state area that controls a lot of networking. So VPCs for different environments, VPCs connecting to different accounts for peer connections and that kind of thing. There's all sorts of stuff and all sorts of reasons why you might want to have networking be its own separate area of AWS configuration. In our case, it's just going to be VPC. It's a little bit simpler because we're just going to go through the nuts and bolts of what it looks like to have this set up here. So let's begin. Our networking file has nothing in it, so we can go ahead and I think we can basically just copy and paste Cloudcast TF to start inside of there. And instead of Cloudcast TF, I'm just going to refactor this. I'm going to rename it just main.tf. And in here, we can edit some stuff. So we are going to still define our AWS Terraform provider and with our buckets, our S3 buckets and all that good stuff. Now note that I have this stuff commented out. We are still going to have that commented out and I'm going to delete that, in fact. And we're going to define those in a different way for this. Um, so provider AWS is still profile Cloudcast and USC2 for me. Infrastructure environment here is going to default to our production one because we're in the production area here. Default region USC2. And a lot of the stuff we can otherwise get rid of. Now, in our networking area, we're just doing VPC stuff. So I can get rid of the data section to find our AMI. I can get rid of our two EC2 modules because we're not using the EC2 modules there at all. And that leaves us with our VPC module. Now we're actually nested in one more level. So I need to do that to go up one additional level to find our modules directory and our VPC module within that. And otherwise we can leave all of this the same. Now, what do we do here? Our networking section here is a completely different state. And we see up here that we got rid of our configuration to see what bucket and what uh, key this is going to be saved in. So what we're going to do here is actually update our run script, the helper script here, to help us initialize each state here and run for each environment production versus staging. So up here we have tfm. I need an additional variable. I'm going to call this tf state, and that's going to be the second item we pass into the script. So that's going to be like networking, data, compute, etc. And down here we're going to change this. I'm just going to paste in what I have in my notes. So we're still going to say if we're passing in more than one argument to this command, then we're going to do stuff here. In our case, we're going to make sure the TFM, so production or staging, and then TF state exists, so networking, data, compute in our case. If it doesn't, we bail out, say, with an error message saying that doesn't exist. If it does exist, we move on. So we're going to say if we want to initialize this, we're going to run a special initialization command. Otherwise, we just do a pass through of whatever command we pass it, such as plan or apply, making sure to change into the environment in a state directory that we supply here. So example, production network. OK, so the Terraform init command here is special. We do the change dir here to get into TFM, TF state directory, right? Production network. It's going to initialize it. And here it's going to dynamically pass in backend config variables. So we got rid of some here, backend config. We got rid of the bucket, the key. And I think we did the got rid of the DynamoDB item for locking here as well. We're going to leave that out for this video. So what I need to hear is to define the bucket and the key here. And we can do that on the fly here using the backend config flag. So the bucket is going to be Terraform Chorus Cloudcast. We're going to keep that same bucket for each configuration. The key is going to change. We're going to say for the production environment, whatever it is, or the staging, save the file name as TF state. So uh, data versus networking versus compute. And we'll have some TF state files here alongside each other inside of this directory, in our case, for the S3 buckets. So that just is needed for the initialization here, which we need to do for each area, right? We're going to need to reinitialize each one. And I think we're just about ready to do that. So let's go ahead and see what happens and see if anything breaks here. So we can go run. And remember, our arguments are uh, TFM, TF state. So we updated the production environment directory here and the network state, and we're going to initialize it. OK, so it's finding the VPC module in the new location. It's initializing everything. If we do git status, I think, dash u, we'll see we have modified the run file, and we created our network main, and we got a terraform.lock file from doing this initialization as well. 
And now that we initialized it, we can go ahead and see a plan to see what it wants to build for us. Now, of course, this is just the VPC module, so it's not going to be those 34 or 35 items. It said it's 28, and those items are all the VPC stuff, right? Our uh, VPC itself, subnets, private subnets, public subnets, NAT gateways, all that good stuff. It's all inside of our VPC module here, which is in charge of all that good stuff, right? So the VPC, private subnets, public subnets, NAT gateway, internet gateway, security groups in our case are there as well, and all that good stuff. Now, we can go ahead and apply that and build all of our networking infrastructure. And when that's built, we can move on and move to our other modules here. I think I'm going to do compute next to see what we want to do to get our compute uh, items up and running and see how it's going to communicate with our networking area to make sure it knows how to find the VPC that we want it to in order to get our EC2 servers into the correct VPC and use the correct security groups and all that good stuff. Because these are completely different states, right? So we can't just say, this networking module, it's not a module in this case, uh, has outputs that the compute module can use because we're not dealing with modules in this case. We're dealing with completely different uh, Terraform states.